So I saw a video of a woman. Um, she posted this the end of last month, I believe. And she was saying how she went on a first date with this guy. He was wonderful. He was saying and doing all the right things. And then today I saw her update video and that guy turned out to be a complete and total loser. Now, I wanna use that situation as an example. And I see this happen all the time on this app. I've seen it happen with other people in real life. And I've even made this mistake in my own past as well. Stop thinking that just because these people are amazing on the first couple of dates, that they are the one. They are your soulmate. They are perfect. One, you're excited to be on a date. You're excited about the possibility of this possibly going somewhere. You're probably very attracted to this person. And some of you, you might just be desperate and ready for anybody to fill the position of the one. In my experience, it takes anywhere from that first date to about three months, anywhere between that time frame for them to finally become who they really are and for that mask to fall off. Now, I want to say an exception to that rule, narcissists, abusers can continue on that act for several months, years, until they are married to you, moved in with you, or until you are pregnant with a child with them. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your just average run-of-the-mill loser. Most people are putting their best foot forward and not even in a way to be sneaky and sly. You might be wearing your best outfit, your best makeup looks, your best hair looks. You're trying to be a little bit more personable, I guess. You want to show the best of yourself. But unfortunately with that, there are people who are doing that to be sneaky and sly and to charm you so that they can use you and be an asshole and be a jerk in the long run. Their phone number should not even be saved as anything in your phone for that first several weeks. You know, that first date to three months. I wouldn't even get excited. I would not be making future plans in my head about this person. I would not befriend them on any social media. I mean, with the exception of if you guys have already been friends prior to that. We as women especially are so swept up in this fairy tale culture. We want to have the perfect story of how we met and we romanticize shit and we fill in the, gla the gaps and make up stories in our head when we need to just slow the fuck down and take our time. And then we're so paranoid about strangers and scammers. We wouldn't trust a random man off the street with our purse or to leave our cars unlocked and we're walking around with mace, yet you just met this boo at a restaurant five hours ago and you're ready to take on his last name. Slow down.